I want to address something different today. I want to talk a little about a more broad and bigger area to well-being today, which we in occupational therapy talk and work towards a lot in our practice, and that is occupational balance. What is occupational balance? What does it mean? Well, to put it simply, the term occupational balance means finding and achieving a balance in your daily life between the occupations, activities, if you will. In other words, the, the proportion between the things you need to do and the things you want to do in your daily life. This leads to improved well-being. This component revolves mostly around getting good rest, sleep, education, work, leisure, play and social participation. I think this is important to talk about. I mean, I talk a lot about training and the physical aspects of training and developing as an athlete and such, but I want to address this because well-being overall is what we want to achieve in the long run, right? And it's connected to the gym performance and your overall health as well. I mean, I want to put this occupational balance term in context to a gym goer. I've talked about balance a lot of times before, guys, but in a more specific sense to things like exercise selection and maybe approaches to training but you also want you also want that balance between your life in the gym and your life outside the gym because let's say you get really invested in the gym you start going let's say five to six days a week even and start dieting strictly and reforming your whole life to the gym only you maybe forget and regress your social life or whatnot due to restriction because of dietary limitations or anything like that. Maybe you have a balance in the leisure and work part, but you lack maybe social participation. That that gives you a sense of joy and a sense of community that includes as a factor to a greater well being overall. The same story works the other way around. You may be endure and participate in various activities with friends, with families, have a great work life and leisure balance, but you're not taking care of your physical health or something like that. Then you're not in an occupational balance. Just like if you're attending a lot of physical activities and whatnot, but is lacking in the social life. This type of balance is not only great, a great essentiality for your overall health and well-being, but also one of the founding pillars to an uh, independent life, which we all want to strive towards. You want independence. You want to be able to live with as little support and aid as possible. It's not always that easy, but it's the goal of our ability to live and perform daily activities to its fullest, at least. Just like the gym when you'd want to lift and train with as little support, like knee sleeves and lifting belt and so on, we should also want the same in life itself. But even if this is the case, everything has a limit. At some point, a lot of us will need that that lifting belt, those knee sleeves, and so will we in life. At some point, the more we age, the more we use our human abilities and functions to its fullest, we will need more support. That's also why I'm reflecting upon this with balance in a, in a couple of widows, because you need, you need to strive towards this goal while you can, guys, because this won't be the case for an eternity. I mean, same goes for lifting weights as long as possible. This is the case for me at least. When people ask me about lifting for a long time and so on, 
I will always go to the gym. Doesn't matter what I do as long as I as long as I move and put my muscles and body in movement. This is all we need as humans, nothing else. I will train until I can't train anymore, literally. It's it's as easy as that. Because I don't know about you guys, but I wanna build as much muscle and support for my body as possible so it will be able to support itself when I get older. And I mean I said you need to move, nothing else. Right now I'm training for powerlifting and lifting more heavy weights, but I don't really need to do it for things like survival. I mean, I want to do it, but this is a part of the balance I'm talking about as well. Remember when I described the term occupational balance in the beginning of this video as being a balance between what we want and what we actually need to do. I think this definition is quite good and interesting to think about out of a physical and training aspect as well. When starting out in the gym a lot, myself included, is having trouble figuring out who they are and what they want within the gym arena. I mean, 10 years later and I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> I've done bodybuilding, I've done power building, I'm now training for powerlifting. But for the specific choice what I want to pursue, it's yet to be chosen. I've always been good friends with the power building approach and to be honest I probably will stay with that route but who knows maybe I maybe I get a desire to train for powerlifting maybe more after my first competition it's all about exploring different routes yeah but what we all need to remember is what is that we need to be active. We need to be put in motion. Doesn't matter if it's to go for a walk, to bike or go hit the weights in the gym. But we need to move. Then the other part of the dilemma is what we want. To be able to endure and be and especially stay motivated to go to things like the gym and to train year after year. It's doing what we want. Doing something we enjoy doing. I talked about this many times in previous videos, but I mean, it's really important. You need to find that and you got that fine balance. This is the formula for training and this is the formula for well-being as well in life itself. Occupational balance is something I tackle almost every day with clients in my job as an occupational therapist. It's described as quite a simple task and achievement to accomplish but yet so difficult to actually achieve to its fullest potential in a more practical sense. Easier said than done. But yeah. That was a little touch of today's topic of uh, occupational balance. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great week and I'll catch you on the next one.